Sonny, if you could, would you wear something different? Like, would you wear something with sleeves, different colors, or no frills? Something different? Gosh, I don't know. Maybe. Sleeves sound fun. Like arm pants. Son, do the kids like to draw on you or decorate you with stickers during craft time? How do you get clean afterwards? Those stickers must be a pain to get off. They do! I like it too! Usually, the other guard on duty cleans me up, or they take me to parts and service if some messes are a bit too much. It usually is the stickers. How do you feel about your relationship with Moon? Do you feel as though you are siblings versus being the same, sharing a body? What games would you play if you two had different bodies? Hey son, do you and Moon get along well? Relationship with Moon, huh? Well, it's... complicated. We do usually get along though. Moon and I aren't entirely brothers, but I see him as one. He's... Gosh, he's so very smart. Sweet, too. If we were separate, we'd play every game I know. We'd make games, too. Son, uh, there are rooms for birthday parties in the daycare. Does that mean you were used to make a little party for the children and sing happy birthday to them, etc., etc.? Or still, it was one of the Glamrock's duty? I hope not. I suspect you have a pretty singing voice like Moon. Oh, the party rooms! We host parties for all occasions, all ages. Birthdays, graduation, we've even hosted a bat mitzvah. I don't really sing well. Gosh, that's definitely Moon's strong suit. He needs to sing more. For example, I have a lovely bunch of coconuts. <laughs> there they are, standing in a row. Big ones, small ones, some as big as your head. Don't bump them, because, my gosh, I don't want you to get hurt. <laughs> that brings us to the end of the sun's half of the meet and greet. Already? We advise that if anyone is afraid of the dark, you may want to skip the next part of the meet, as the daycare lights will be disabled to allow the moon to speak. No, 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 no. It appears the sun is upset. His portion is over with. Don't worry, the moon will show shortly. It appears the moon is here. He seems pretty excited and ready for his half of the meet. His portion begins now. Ask away. Moon, you little <laughs> kissable sweet darling. Let me kiss you right now. Anyways, how was... Is you, Moon? <laughs> I will forcefully pull you into a hug right now. <laughs> I'm gay. What, what can I say? You're hot. Well, I was doing fine, you see. This is why I will be staying up here on the balcony. Admire from afar. Uh, real quick. Moon, do you have something like a music box built into you that assists with nap times? As a matter of fact, I do. The daycare is wonderfully silent during nap time. Though a gentle tune aids to a good rest. Hmm. Hello, Moon. I was just curious on your methods to deal with kids who don't want to go down for a nap. Oh, and I have a hug, please? Please? If there's any little ones who resist sleep, moon drops are an option. If they cannot have the candy for whatever reason, I have a special backup plan. So, do you give hugs? If so, may I have one? May I have a hug, Moon? You're my favorite out of the pizza plex. As for a hug, all of you know. The sun would most likely be around before I could even accept a hug. Hi, Moon. Uh, I was wondering if you could show us your hypno ability. I think it's really neat. Ah, someone is educated on my design. And that is my special backup plan. If a restless child cannot drift to sleep, showing that now. However, no, I have no reason to. Uh, what would you do if a child was scared of you? Like when you're trying to put them to sleep? 
This happens rather often. Typically, it is my eyes causing most of their fears. However, when I disable the lights paired with a gentle tune, it calms them down. Moon, I think you're quite pretty. By the way, was there a special child before that you've met during nap time? Like a child with traumatic experience? If so, how did you deal with it? <clears throat> Flirting, are we? Naughty, naughty. Well, I have met a many children with their own stories. Stories which will remain between me and the child. To be vague, I comforted them. That is all you will get from me. Uh, hey Moon, how did you make the guard not say anything? It may have been dark and you erased the recordings, but the children can still say that you behave strangely and the guard can say that you threw it away. Um, what other explanation can there be for what happened? It appears someone is misinformed. Quite the odd story you are implying. I had nothing to do with that accident that day. I advise you to reread the company's statement on that event. You sound silly. <laughs> Hello, Moon. It's nice to finally meet my comfort character. Though this is probably a personal question, how's it been like dealing with the glitch issue or Vanny? I'm sure it's been difficult to deal with. I am impressed with the amount of information some of you know. The glitch! It has been an unpleasant journey. However, we are fine now. There were lasting side effects, though none are of concern. Hmm. Hello, Moon. I was wondering, do you have any tips for dealing with nightmares? I do too, in fact. Of course, these may not work for everyone. One being relaxed before rest tends to help. No stress, no fear. Two, remind yourself that it was simply a dream and can't hurt you. What is the song that you sing? Are the lyrics or do you make something up each time? Moon, does your boy boy Spox allow singing? If so, how many songs can you sing? Hey Moon, since you like singing, has anyone ever sang to you? Favorite song, huh? Moon, what's your favorite sleep time song? Quite a few of you are curious about my singing. Well, yes, my vocal box allows for singing. I know a small, select number of lullabies. I tend to stick to those few. Improvisation is the DJ skill, not mine. As for my favorite song, well, Rises the Moon is the quite fitting tune. Thank you.